hello and welcome everyone to the new video on net backup and azure and uh, today i will show you how you can configure encryption as well as compression compression while sending the data to the azure containers one of the prerequisite for this video is that you should already have the azure subscription as well as you should all already created the containers within the azure portal which i've already done uh, i will come to the azure portal but uh, before that the three steps that i involve are uh, the first step is you will configure the cloud storage server after that is configured in which the encryption and compression is one of the part you will configure the disk pool and then we will create a storage unit under the storage so let's get started from the management console of netbackup a.0 click on configure cloud storage server select next and from the list of vendors of the cloud storage provider you will select Microsoft Azure and it will fetch all the data for you automatically so the service host and the storage service name will leave it to the default the name of my net backup server is nbu8 and the domain is veritas.local and under the storage account and the access key will be the username and the password that will be generated or was generated when you created the storage account so let me just flip to the azure portal and we'll copy and paste that so i'm gonna minimize this and uh, this is the storage account which i have on the azure i will double click and in the blade which is open go to access key under settings and the storage account name and the access key will copy and paste so you'll copy and same thing we'll do for the access key okay and select next and in this window you have to configure the compression and encryption it's always a good idea so that it doesn't use that much of bandwidth so data is compressed before it is sent to the azure containers so i'll select both the options and we'll also encrypt the data so it is protected and uh, net backups allows 256 bit of encryption so let gives a passphrase for the host master key and we also give a key protection key passphrase give the ID and you select next so you get a window you have selected to create the cloud storage server with compression and encryption you cannot modify the compression and encryption setting after you have proceeded with the cloud storage server do you want to proceed so make sure that uh, you keep it safe all the passphrase keys because you'll be needing in case you want to restore and you select next
okay so we got all the check marks so everything seems to be fine and you select next and the storage service creation confirmations so it was created successfully and you hit next and we'll configure the disk pool and as you can see that the next visit is open automatically just to let you know that I have three containers on the Azure portal so as you can see it already populated automatically so storage one two and three and for this demonstration I will use storage three the container which is on the Azure portal and I'll select next and now it is asking for the passphrase to be uh, provided so let me provide that Select OK and let's give the disk pool name. You can uh, always change the IOP streams over here. So let me select this and let me increase this to say 4, but you can change it accordingly. And you get a brief summary and you select next. And now it is creating a disk pool. Perfect. So we got the two check marks. So the second step was created. So the, we created the storage server, then we created the disk pool. And now as you can see that we already got the check mark for creating the storage unit. So I will select next. And here you can give the name for the storage unit. So let's give the name Azure storage unit. And uh, I only have one uh, net backup server which is acting as a master and media server and you can mention over here how many maximum concurrent jobs you want to have I will make it four and you can always uh, the maximum fragment size is this much and you select next okay I have to select this and select next and we hit finish Okay, so if I go under the storage unit, I have this unit that we created. Now we can run a policy and we can do a backup to this specific storage unit which is residing on the Azure portal. So this video was on how to configure the compression and encryption with the net backup and how to create the storage unit. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.